I recently had a problem using driver boosters for on my HP Pavilion uh, touchscreen laptop that I just bought. Seen other videos that showed me how to fix my touchscreen problem not working, but the problem is none of those methods worked for me. So, therefore, I went about it my own way and I uh, updating the driver with driver booster 4 which caused it to uh, disable my touch screen and then it also removed it from where it's supposed to be under uh, HID interface compliant touch screen and changed the whole entire name under mouse and uh, pointers and device manager I'm not saying other ways and videos don't work and may not work I will not do that because they may for you. Me, however, none of the video's methods had helped me. So what I did, I went ahead and went to start the little window icon. I then went to device, whoops, device manager. Now once you're in here, this is where I discovered my problem and this is where the other video showed me to go to. But the problem was, right where the HID compliant touchscreen is, say they tell you to right click and check to see if it's disabled or enabled. If it is disabled, to enable it or to scan, I mean, or to go to the properties and tell it to search the computer and so forth for the driver to roll it back or you can just roll it back or restart the whole reset your whole entire computer I didn't want to do that so they also showed to come down under your USB devices and check that and check that and that it should fix it well it did not I came under mouse mouse and other pointing devices and it showed it down here, but it was worded differently. It said just touch screen code C04 or some type of little C type code thing. So what I went ahead and did when it was showing down here and changed, I looked, I right clicked it, told it to uninstall, and then I went up to action and told it to scan for hardware changes. It then brought it back up under human interface devices and it put it back right here. Well, I still wasn't getting nothing out, no response out of my touch screen. So I then right clicked it. Whoops. I then right clicked it and told it to uninstall. A little checkbox popped up. I checked it and told it to go ahead and remove it. So it did, and then I went under back under action, told it scan for hardware changes. It then brought it back to, to the same spot under the same HID compliant touch screen. And then from, from there, I put my finger on the screen, and now it's working again. Hopefully this video will help you out, as it did me. And I noticed others don't show that extra step. But like I said, it, it may or may not work. I'm not going to discourage their videos in any way. Because it may work for you. I'm just saying, however, it did not for me. And this is how I did it. And I'll explain again. I went start. Device man typed in device manager. And then when I opened up here. I went to mice and other pointing devices and it will actually say touch screen such and such right clicked it uninstalled it action scan, uh, scan for hardware changes and then after you do that go ahead and go to your human interface devices locate the HID compliant touch screen right click it 
uninstall when the box opens up, uncheck it. I mean, check it and then tell it to go ahead and uninstall. Come back up here to action, scan for hardware changes. It will then bring it, put it back where it should be. And then go ahead and on your little sliding bar, go ahead and touch and hold and move it up and down to see if it brings it back. Like I said, other videos may work. This is, however, something they did not show. So I decided to make a video for it in hopes it'll help somebody. As I'm figuring it out on my own, it did work for me. I just hope it works for you guys too. I will now bring up my document and let you read the instru instructions. So you have instructions to go by. And you guys have a blessed and nice day. And hopefully this does work for somebody.